Got you. Well coordinated. But ineffective. Hey, it's you. Oh, no. Uh. Fuck's sake. Zeon! You lose yourself to emotion. Some special forces you are. You shut your trap! What a joke! You consider me the joke, do you? Really now? Hey, isn't he? Yeah. He's our friend. From Colony 9. That's where you're wrong. You're traitors. You're no friends of mine. Uh, Zeon, just listen! We don't want to... Drop it, you. Negotiation doesn't appear to be on the table. Mimi. <sighs> Arrest the turncoats! So we have to fight. Alright! First move goes to me! 
Commander, please respond. What's wrong? Enemy attack! Agnian forces! Wonder what's going on. <sighs> Commander? Yes. I'm thinking. Hey, what did you just say? Zeon's the commander now. Does that mean the old one... There was a change of command. Someone had to take the fall for the traitors. They even dropped our colony rank. We've been so pressed for food we had to venture out this far. All because of you. Wow. Crap. Go back! We'll take care of things here. I can't allow that. Just get going already! The Agnian Battalion. They're using terrain to cover their approach, am I right? How do you know that? I'm well aware that you don't trust me, I'm just speaking aloud here. We'll intercept the enemy troops, engage them while they're still advancing. They won't get their hands on the colony. You retreat and shore up your defenses. What are you really after here? Why is it you're fighting? We're both in very different positions now. But that doesn't have to mean everything's changed between us. Oh, well done. A voice of reason. Come off it. Wait. Change of plans. We're bringing them back to the colony. What? Why? You're handing them into the console. No. I'm integrating them into our force as the Vanguard. We're fighting with them. Mwamba died because of them. We're up against a whole battalion. Hardly the time for us to be picky. It's also possible that Ouroboros have instigated this attack themselves. Ugh, you can't be serious. You know exactly how serious I am. Fire and sparks! Hold up. Let's do as he says. What? Why should we? Just play along. We'll be better able to help protect Colony 9 if we're part of the plan. Plans? <laughs> if you say so. You have good friends. One day I'm gonna crack that thick bonce of yours and really see what makes you tick. I look forward to it. You lot head back and update Kite on the situation. I'll see to these ones. Meet me in command. As you say. <sighs> you said not everything's changed between us. Your words no longer have merit. So let's judge where your allegiance lies by way of your actions. I understand. We won't let you down. Don't make any sudden movements. An ether channel. Let's stock up. I'll claim the ether here. You line them up, I'll knock them down.
How's the supervising going, Mr. Commander, sir? Five by five? Yes, thank you. Now zip your mouth and let's move. to eat then, no? Better make sure we're well rested. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. So that's a new recipe then. All right, let's get going. Time's a wasting. I'm impressed. You didn't run away this time. Uh. I'll explain what comes next. The rest of you are dismissed. Stay cool, kite. I'm always cool. Tell us about Agnes's movements. Right now, they're assembling their forces on Everblight Plain. They've stopped concealing themselves, which feels like cause for concern enough. They're confident they have the numbers for a full assault, then? Or perhaps it's a feint? Or they're just a bunch of dolts who like pretending they have a plan. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for jokes right now. Hey, we need a little levity sometimes. With enough food, we can draw this out. Give the word and we could even launch a raid. I told you, that's not going to happen. It would cost us too many lives. What then? Our troops are hungry, anxious, and quite frankly, more pissed off by the hour. You leave things like this, and we're going to fall apart by ourselves. We could just remove their reason for fighting you. What? In plain language, please. If we smashed your flame clock, it would alter the equation. If you smashed it? Uh, what? Well, now I know you're all jokers. Kite, biggest joker of all. This is why Kite always runner-up in life. No one can take serious with hopeless second-best attitude. Shut it, Riku. You, you really know how to hit a man when he's down, don't you? Why are you back here, anyhow? How'd you worm your way back into Zeon's favor? Meh. No worming performed. We don't need you here. I've had enough of seeing my friends die. Betray me. I can't deal with this dirt anymore. We feel just the same. Which is why we want to do as much as we possibly can to help. That's why we came back. Yeah. You're not fooling anybody. You need not believe them, but they will prove to be an asset. Huh. So that's it. You're siding with them in the end. You choose Noah over your own lieutenant. Again. That's not what I'm saying. Don't you realize how hard I'm trying here? Ugh! Spot this! Sorry. I didn't mean to complicate matters. On the contrary, was this not your intent? I would have thought you'd be gloating by now. We can gloat if it makes you feel better. But you can't just judge someone in the heat of the moment. Whatever you might think, suspicion will be cast upon you. That is all I can say. Suspicious or not, isn't it about time you tell us this plan of yours? You said we'd prove to be an asset. I'll continue. Though we have a geographical advantage, our provisions and numbers are limited. That's what the enemy will be banking on. And that's where you come in, as the Vanguard. 
Our sudden appearance will put a spanner in their works, and that will give you the edge you need, right? Seeing Keves and Agnes bods fighting together and tearing up their front line is going to throw them off their game for sure. So we've got to fight independently, then? Better than being on a leash, I suppose. You seem to misunderstand. I'm not cutting you loose. You are still being regarded as traitors. Keep in mind that I shall be supervising your every action personally. Sir, yes, sir, Commander, sir. Do you have to? Let it go, guys. I'll send details of the operation to your iris. The plan will commence at once. We're on it. Can never go wrong with Samita. Show Zeon what we're made of. Huh, huh. I expect great things from you, former Special Forces Lance. We'll be arriving presently. Uni? You okay? Just feeling wistful. This is where we went looking for fortune clovers, isn't it? Oh, yeah! You really made a big deal out of that. Did not. Just wanted to wish upon one. All the others laughed in my face. Said I'd never find one here. Everyone but you guys and Zeon. You must remember, you're not the kind of guy who makes fun of people when they're trying their hardest. You help people in need. <sighs> Listen, I know you've been through all sorts of crap, but you don't know the whole story. Oh, I'm sure. There is no such thing as a traitor who rebels without cause. Be it Kevis or Agnes. You've sent many of my comrades off, no. Time and time again, you saved the dead, helped survivors, even me. I know you do not make light of people's lives. So you understand? I do. But I can never be the friend to you that I once was. You don't give a set tree, do you? I wasn't talking to you, Lance. Excuse me? Maybe we can't go back to the old days, but we can build something new. Leave your platitudes for after. The battlefield awaits. Don't worry, we'll win. No one's dying on our watch. Never again. Time to move. Stay sharp. Huh. 
If you find anything out of the ordinary, I'll issue the order. Right. Those vermin! Getting dark already. There's a lot of them. This will be a battle of attrition. We can use the terrain for defensive advantage. First, we need to hurt their morale. Before that, we need to talk. I'll remain here and fight for as long as I stand. That's also part of the plan. It will be a grueling fight. I won't have time to be looking out for possible deserters. Hold on. Are you telling us to find a chance to escape? I never said that. But this battle should be of little importance to you. Fuck's sake, Zeon. Just how rotten do you think we are? I see where you're coming from. But we're fighting on our own terms. We'll be seeing this through. We owe a debt to Colony 9. Maybe it wasn't for very long, but it gave us somewhere to belong. But not anymore. Just shut it, you! How hard is it for you to accept someone just wants to do a good deed? Hey? Get a clue! Lance! How often does he need telling not to abandon himself to his feelings? Have you given in? <laughs> Still, might as well strike while the iron's hot. to run him down. We aren't here to kill each other. Pull back now, and we won't pursue you. I'll bet you won't. Because you'll be dead. Lednesses. Always keep your ace in reserve. That's how the game's played. Ugh. Don't falter. We have Kite and the others holding the fort. Yeah. And we'll hold the line here. 
Whatever it takes. I'm done. Squad leader's been hit! Pull back! Why aren't you following them? I told you. I don't want needless slaughter. You're soft, rookie commander. Let me tell you something. You don't win wars while keeping your hands clean. You're gonna learn that. The hard way. You'll see. I guess we will. Don't let it get to you. I wouldn't normally, but in this instance, I'm afraid he struck a chord. I believe I said something similar to you in the past. We were sparring with training swords. You won in the end. I did. Because you always held back. That's not true. <laughs> you hated the very idea of fighting. That's how it seemed to me. And back then, I thought you'd never survive on that lofty idea. I was blind. If we don't stand for something greater, strife and conflict will grow ever fiercer. We would end up fighting not for the flame clock, but for our own bloodlust. That is who we are. It was never going to be easy. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out what's right myself. But there's something I want to change. And to do that, I have to change myself. The <laughs> kite and the others pull through, okay? It seems we've averted disaster. For now. Not quite. There's still unfinished business. Zeon, I want you to understand the things we've seen. The truth about the flame clocks. Just let us explain. After that, we'll let you have the final say. As you wish. It also saves us an awkward silence on the way back. But don't get your hopes up. That's fine. Thank you. I'll round up everyone in the square. But first, to Colony 9.
The ears ears are quite striking. Do they really grow from her head? I can tell I'm being watched. He must be very weary of me. Looks like it's gonna rain. Heroes return. Good work, Vion. Where have you been? Just watching from the sidelines. And I must say, it was quite a spectacle. In what way? Bed pop. I forget. You drones have no aesthetic sense. Your droll skirmish was one thing. It almost put me to sleep. But this here... Well, I'd say the colony is due a promotion. I recall no droll skirmish. The one where these maggots surfaced. Loads of little worms plotting together with Agnes, then deserting their duty like the cowards they are. Truly disgusting. A disgrace to the colony. And that goes for the ones who croaked for nothing, too. Even calling that troll is a disservice to the word. Croaked for nothing? I know you see us as enemies. But this, it's our friends you're talking about. Even Wamba. Back then, how dare you! Silence, maggots! You must still be tired from fighting. Rejoice, then! You will give me great pleasure as I crush you. What do you think you're doing? The words of an idle man who orders others around. Or the words of rebels who risk their lives for us. Which do you think is worth more? Silence! This is insubordination. on our dead. That would be you. Madness! You seek death then, Zion. We want to live. That is why we fight.
Prepare yourself. Consul B! Why, you? He's good for nothing, imbecile! All defectors must be eradicated! Zeon! Yes. Let's go! Ah! <laughs> 
Futile, you know. You won't change anything. You think you have a future? Well, you don't. Only suffering and despair. Even so, the choice is mine. Lay things out for me here. Commander. Our console's a monster. Our flame clock's busted. We still don't have enough food to go round. I have to ask, what was the point of all this? We succeeded. Though not quite the way I'd hoped. Now then, listen. You can't be serious. Then what? It was all a sham. So it would appear. For that reason, we need to learn as much as we can about ourselves and about the world outside. Oh, is that everything? And while eating shoe leather? If need be, whatever the outcome may be, only we can change it. I believe that. We'll help you out too. Not because we're looking for your acceptance, but just so everyone can live. So please, let us further your goal. I know you still have doubts, but won't you give them a chance? I confess, I'm still a bit dazed by these developments. But I could let them off. Yeah, same. The Commander's never quite been this insistent. If Mwamba were here, I think he'd have agreed much sooner. Friends. Well, I'm still not buying it. The one to make the call should be me. I should decide. Nobody else. I'll prove it. The only one fit to be commander is me. We're gone. Man, way to go off on one. Kite, he just worries for the colony. He will come round eventually. So, what's the word now, boss? First, I want to solve the food shortage. What, you mean by taking long hikes? It'll be tough without anything nearby. That was the case up until now. Myself? I'll try it the other way. What way? We'll make fields. Our own food supply. Grown with our own hands. When he says fields, does he mean like that bit in the textbook? When food is scarce, one may till the soil and plant glitter radishes. 
You always know your stuff. Obviously. I see. It was difficult to find time before, since you had to worry about the flame clock. Yes, but not any longer. <laughs> you giving it a go, then? There will be toil, but we'll try. Then start by observing the vegetation. It's not just soldiers that want to survive out here. You're sure to learn something. I understand. We'll try that. Oh, and if you're ever in need of my support, just call on me. I'll help. That's appreciated, but are you really sure? If you truly want to change something, you must start with the self. I believe you said that. Still, some folks aren't going to like you when you're panning around with us lot. It doesn't matter what they think of me. What truly matters is whether I carry out my duty. Zeon, you haven't changed at all. Sarcasm? At this stage? Not at all. I was just thinking that you're still the same old friend from back then. You've gained away with words. I see. Perhaps people can change. Wow, ouch. <laughs> you gave us strength. Thank you. Thank you. Makes me feel so calm. I feel at home again, seeing all these friendly faces. <laughs> 